Hello dear student, this is Dr. Seher from Dentabest, your best online mentor for the preparation of IMBD, ADAT and the AFK exam. Don't forget to subscribe for my channel on YouTube and follow my pages on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and LinkedIn. So the topic of the video today is retention, stability and support in complete denture. So these three are very fundamental properties to understand before we can move to any topic of prosto. So let us see first. So retention uh, students is a property that's very important for giving the psychological comfort to the patient. Then we have the stability for giving the physiological comfort and support is important for longevity of the denture. So all these three properties together will give the success to your denture. Now let us try to understand the meaning of each of these. So retention is a property that doesn't let your denture to come out. So it is a resistance against the vertical dislodging forces, the retention. So different factors that affect the retention. Number one is the anatomical factor that is based on the anatomy of the ridge, the basal seat, the physiological factor that is based on the quality or the viscosity of the saliva. Physical factor includes your adhesion, cohesive forces, the atmospheric pressure, the intercapillary uh, surface facial tensions. Then the mechanical factors are based on the undercuts or the parallelism of the walls. Oral and facial musculature, that's also very important how the musculature is controlling and helping in the retention of the denture. The psychological effects and also the patient tolerance is a very important factor for a successful denture. Now the next property is the stability. Stability is so the denture doesn't rock, doesn't go right and left. So it is preventing the displacement of the denture against the horizontal forces acting on it. So for a good stability, a good retention is first of all important. Then you are doing the proper diagnosis of the patient based on the denture base outline, the size and form of basal seat, the quality of your final impression is also very important to give good stability to the denture. The proper location and arrangement of the artificial teeth. So there is a concept called as neutral zone that was introduced by the scientist Fish. So neutral zone is that zone where the outward forces created by the tongue is balanced by the inward forces created by the cheek and the lips. So that is the zone where outward and inward forces are balancing each other called as the neutral zone. That's the best location for you to arrange your artificial teeth. Now support in complete denture is a property through which the denture is taking as much coverage of the underlying denture base outline like the property through which the denture doesn't hit on the impinging mucosa doesn't impinge on the muscle attachments but at the same time taking as much coverage of the basal seat below especially for the mandibular denture we know the ridges are mostly resorbed so it's very important for your mandibular denture to take as much coverage of the denture uh, the bearing area below without impinging the muscles to have a good support of the denture. So the denture is extended to cover the maximum surface area without impinging on movable tissue like your muscle attachment and the tissues which are most capable of resisting the resorption are selectively loaded during function. So these are called as the stress bearing areas. So you have the primary stress bearing area for your maxilla, you have the heart palate, you have the ridges which you want to selectively load while taking the impression because you want your denture to take support from there. For the mandibular denture, it is a buccal shelf area from where you can give the primary, where you can take the primary support. So tissues which are most capable of resisting the vertical uh, displacement are allowed to make firm contact with the denture base during the function. Finally, you have snowshoe principle. Snowshoe principle is like a boot that's not only covering your foot, but also covering, let's say, up to your leg or up to your knee. So you are covering as much as basal seat below to give the maximum coverage and maximum support 
because more is the coverage of stress bearing area more is the coverage of denture bearing area less will be the stress exerted per unit area so this is all for this video if you have any questions please comment me in the section below the students who are watching this video on instagram facebook they need to click to the link in the description below so that they can watch my full video on the youtube thank you so much don't wait to uh, subscribe for my channel so that you can get all the updated and upcoming videos that i am going to upload soon to help you in your preparation of INBD, ADAT and AFT exam. All the best, study hard but study smart. Thank you so much.